Hello, welcome. This is Kenshin1913, and I am doing a brand new Let's Play. Yuji Hori, Square Enix, Akira Toyama. This sounds like a good good game, doesn't it? Goichi Sugiyama as well. Yes, this is Let's Play Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest. Let's play... Dragon Quest. For the iOS or mobile. Anyways, I decided to play this game for a few reasons. One, because I wanted to show off the iOS version. Two, it is the Dragon Quest. This year, 2016, in May, is the 30th anniversary of Dragon Quest. And I decided to start back, to go back to my roots a little bit and uh, play some more Dragon Quest games. So, I'm going to be playing most of them over again. But in the remake versions, uh, most of them. A couple that I won't be replaying. But anyways, uh, I figured I would do this one because uh, it's amazing. It's the first game, and I swear to God, and, well, not really God, but I swear to whatever, I won't be doing this game ever again after this LP, unless there's like a drastic change to this. Because I pretty much played it, what, three, this will be the third time now, so... Uh, yeah, so, uh, I hope you guys will enjoy this LP, it is on the iOS mobile version, so, yeah, let's just listen to the amazing music, and yeah, so Dragon Quest is 30 years old, and, uh, is going to be 30 years old, and, uh, I'm gonna, uh, this year is gonna be a good year for me in LPing with Dragon Quest games, I'm gonna be doing some of them I'm going to be eventually doing the Dragon Quest Joker games that a lot of people wanted to see me play. So let's start our adventure. And yeah, like I said, this is the iOS version. And in honor of uh, a fallen rock god, I am actually going to name my character uh, Bowie. After David Bowie. In honor of David Bowie. In remembrance of David Bowie. I was thinking either Ziggy or David or Bowie. And I decided with Bowie. So yeah, message speed, sound speed, all that stuff's good. So let's get going. And yeah, I am going to keep it around this same aspect ratio. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind. I don't want to stretch it out too big because then it looks weird. But when we get outside on the world map, I think there'll be more to look at. But yeah, pretty much a uh, typical Dragon Quest story, Dragon Lord. Now, they didn't have a cool opening cutscene like the Game Boy Color version, but in this game, they do go back to the old English, the old Shakespearean English or whatever, like in the original. And uh, yeah, pretty much Dragon Lord took the Sphere of Light, and uh, we got to get it back. So first thing I want to do is switch this up. Because I am left-handed, so I'm going to be using my left hand. So anyways, here's the status screen. You got your items, your stats, and you got your spells, which we don't have any. Then you got equip settings. You can look at your controller layout. You can look at your message speed. You can look at your sound. Setting, traveler's tips, I'm not going to bother with because I know what I'm doing. And that's pretty much it in there. Now, this game is much more user-friendly than even the uh, Super Famicom or Game Boy Color version. Because everything that you click on, you can touch. And you can interact with. And no, I don't know about Princess Gwalian. So yeah, Dragon Lord uh, pretty much took the princess, took, uh, took the Orb of Light, and pretty much uh, has destroyed some of the world here. And we need to fix it. But yeah, so, like I said, I, I, I'm going to keep this aspect ratio, because like I said, once I, if I get it a little too big, it'll distort the, uh, image, and yeah. Yeah, you're just going to tell me what to do, I already know what to do, I'm pretty much a pro at this game. But yeah, so, once again, Dragon Quest in May turns 30. So like I said, uh, it's going to be a good year for Dragon Quest. And not me, I'm going to get, like I said, get back to my roots. 
We're gonna do a couple remakes of uh, Dragon Quest games. We'll get the Dragon Quest V, the remake. I'm gonna get the Dragon Quest. So yeah, let's equip this bamboo spear. I'm gonna get. A dra I'm gonna redo Dragon Quest II because I think the iOS version is the best version, to be honest. Because it has all the modern conveniences of a of a of the first dragon of of uh, like a new Dragon Quest, but in two, so it's pretty nice. Yeah, and this town is called Canticle. The music here is uh, classic. And a lot of the people are looking for the princess. They were taken by the foul fiend. I mean, I guess I could make the aspect ratio a little bit bigger. If you guys uh, think I should, let me know. I'll, I'll see if I can do it for the next episode. Because it's going to be a little bit before we go, uh, before I record the next one. But this shouldn't take me more than 10, maybe 12 parts. And I want to do this before I start King's Quest uh, 6. This guy heals your MP. So yeah, we can... Uh, these doors here are locked. We need magic keys to open them. And yeah, you're the traveling merchant. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, 30 years old. And a lot of people want me to play the Dragon Quest Monsters Joker game. And I'm going to try and get to that this year too. Especially with the anniversary of Dragon Quest uh, one, and then the an and then Dragon Quest Seven should hopefully be out on the 3DS this year, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I think they they're bringing out another Dragon Quest game too. I'm not 100% sure actually, but yeah, if you want to read the dialogue, just pause it. And these two are lovers, yada yada yada. Alright, so let's head out outside of Tantacle and head to Breconary, or whatever the hell you call it. But yeah, listen to that iconic music. So yeah, there's our stats. There's where we can look at spells and all that good stuff. Oh yeah, one thing that I forget to mention, or forget to show off in this video, when you're out on the world map, uh, there'll be an icon in the upper right corner. If you hit that icon, it's a map icon, you can actually look at the world map. I'll show it off in the next episode. So anyways, uh, this place you have to decide, do I want to purchase something strong for attack power, or do I want to go all out and get some good uh, armor? So what I'm going to do is equip the Oaken Club, or buy the Oaken Club, because I always say if you, the bet more offense you have, the faster you can kill enemies, and the faster you get money to buy other shit. Now I was thinking about buying the plain clothes, but I'm not going to bother. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell the bamboo spear for five. And so all I really need is five gold coins in order to get me some armor. Yeah, and apparently this guy thinks that I won't be able to do it. Just because other people weren't able to do it, they mean that I won't be able to do it. So over here is the bank where we can withdraw and deposit gold. I don't remember if you can do it by the thousands. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, this game is sim very similar to uh, this game is very similar to the remake versions in the essence that you can look in drawers and pots and all that good stuff. And yeah, it looks like this little lady is going to come along with us because we told her that she's pretty or something. I don't know. But yeah, this is also iconic music. So anyways, I hope you guys will enjoy this LP, even though I've already done it a bunch. I'm actually going to try something a little different at the end of the game. I want to try something to see if I can uh, beat it a certain way. I actually might do a test to see if I can beat it that way before I even try try doing it the LP wise, but yeah. Speaking of Dragon Quest, um, yeah, this guy's like, where's my proof? How do I know you're a descendant of Eirdrick? But yes, uh, speaking of Dragon Quest, I'm actually going to be appearing on a podcast 
uh, by this guy. His name is Jim Boy Star, and uh, we end up talking about pretty much the conversation is about Dragon Quest, and uh, pretty much uh, how we're gonna um, what is it? How it's pretty much just the history of Dragon Quest and all that good stuff. And it should be coming up pretty soon. I I'll let you guys know more information when it when I learn more information myself. But yeah, this game is really, really fun. So we they're talking about Gar Garnin's uh, harp and it's silver and blah blah blah. You gotta talk to these townspeople, get that info. But yeah, this game is available on the iOS and Android or whatever. I don't remember how much it is, but if it's more than... I, I don't know if it's more than five bucks. If it is, it's... If it's five bucks, it's totally worth it. I would highly suggest if you got a smartphone, tablet, or whatever, I would get it. Alright, so I just wanted to come over here and see... Alright, I just want to see if they had any, like, if you just walked around... I don't think in this game they'll have, like, stuff... Yeah, see, I don't... I don't think there's any hidden treasures like that. If there are, they'd probably, uh... They'd probably glimmer or something. Alright, so let's, uh, let's head off to Adric's Cave. Actually, before we do that, let, let me gain five gold. Ooh. So yeah, the enemies don't do any kind of like, uh, animations. But you do have an animation for your attack. I'm not sure what engine this game was made on, actually. But yeah, you get this cool, like, orchestrated, like, horn section in the beginning of the battle, which is kind of neat. It'll kind of surprise you if you're not paying attention, you know what I mean? you probably shit your pants. Anyways, let's come up here and buy ourselves that leather armor. And luckily in this game, they automatically equipped it for you. There is a nice little thing where you can actually look and see how much it brings up defense power-wise and all that good stuff. Anyways, let's head over to Edric's cave now. You should have a torch. Ooh, a slime. You're dead. Bye-bye, slime. So yeah, I love this game. It does bring back a lot of memories because I have, uh, you know... I played this game a ton as I, when I was a kid, and... This is the first LP I ever did, and... It's uh, one of my favorite games. It's actually one of the first uh, RP. I think it is the first RPG I've ever played. And as you can see, they have the little uh, dragon thing on the ground. But yeah, uh, it's just nice to get back to my roots. I know a lot of people know me as the Dragon Quest guy, and I just want to—I want to just show people that I'm not done with this series yet. So yeah, to reach the evil island, you have to get three artifacts, and he gave him the three people. Yeah, and he and he gave him the three people. And yeah, they're hopefully their descendants still guard them. Gather the hollow triad and strike a blow for the cause of lights. That's a good saying. Yes, yeah, sorry, I will seek them out. All right, thank you, Edric. You are a good person. So, in this cave, you do not get attacked, which is pretty nice. head this way. You gotta, ex you gotta forgive me a little bit with the uh, controls. 
I forget. Well, not that I forget how to use it, but, like, I don't hear when I'm banging into things because, uh, the audio doesn't pop up on my tablet when I'm capturing the footage. Alright, so welcome to the town of Garningham. Uh-oh. I don't like this song. That song sucks. Oh, Gallon. That's the name of this town. This is the town of Gallenham or something. Gallenholm, I'm sorry. Anyways, let's look at these items. Oh boy, are they expensive. Wow. Alright, so... I'm gonna be needing to do some leveling in between this episode and the next. And yeah, I did, uh, I did check out that. I did check out the cave. Yep, so apparently a great bard died here, and then people came to glib where his grave is, I guess. And apparently the princess was flown eastward. And here we can purchase some herbs, a torch, and a dragon scale. I definitely want to pick up this dragon scale. I'm not exactly sure why, but I do need to pick it up. Anyways, if we come over here and we talk to this guy, we can actually... I want to purchase an iron axe and a, um, and a large shield. So, that's what I want to get for the next episode. Anyways, let's head back to Tantagal. I'm pretty much done. Hopefully I can get a level up before this episode's over. make some David Bowie references for the next video. And look at that, we leveled up. Not very good, but better than nothing. Alright, so let's, uh, let's head back to Tantacle Castle. So what I'm going to do in between episodes is I'm probably going to level up quite a bit, and I'm going to get myself that iron axe and I'm gonna get that large shield. I'll probably also buy the leather shield also just to bring up my defense. Yeah, let me show you how you save the game. You can do a quick save where you can actually talk to the king and he'll tell you how much experience you have and then he'll pretty much so you can save your game. It's just that easy. So no, I'm not gonna continue the quest. So like I said, in the next episode, I'll level up and have all those all that gear. So this has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.